Except it won't kill you and it's not poisonous, unless you're a robot. See, gallium is poisonous to metals, especially aluminum. This is the gallium metal, and I guess it's not exactly poisonous to aluminum, but what it does is it's more of like a cancer. It infiltrates into the aluminum structure and dissolves it and really weakens it. So you can take a normally strong aluminum CO2 cylinder like this and turn it into a disaster with just a couple drops of gallium, just really destroys all of the metals. Also, I should mention this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. You'll hear more about this later. Somewhere between this... You don't know nothing about Ow! ...and this. So let's get started. As soon as I clean this mess off my hands. Gallium is not poisonous or toxic, but it is messy on your skin. Yeah. You're not a robot, so like, who cares? <gasps> so what we're gonna try to do is put gallium on this bike right here and on the scooter, and then we're gonna let it sit for a little bit and ride it around until the bike breaks. All right, well, that definitely looks like enough gallium to destroy this bike. Now let's put some on the scooter, and then we'll just let them sit for a while to let the gallium soak in. So, so my brother and I have been playing video games for about a couple hours waiting for the gallium to set in and then we hear a big crash and it's because the bike has completely fallen apart. Look at this. The aluminum just breaks apart with your fingers like this. The whole bike. Oh. Oh. Wow, no wonder they don't let you take this stuff on airplanes because this just destroyed it. I mean, the scooter too! The, the scooter! The scooter's completely trashed. Like, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the connection. Please try again in a moment. Look at this, it's just like, that's crazy, this is a scooter <laughs> and I can just do this with my hands like it's nothing. I'm really upset I didn't get to watch it fall while trying to ride this. I know, me too. Oh my god, this is like, like shattered. Try, try breaking that with your hands. Oh! Weird. Here, try squeezing that in your hand. Wow, that's aluminum. All right, we got a new scooter, and this time we're gonna be testing it every hour. All right, so the scooter's been sitting for about two, two and a half hours, and you can tell that the gallium has totally eaten away at the scooter already. Like, look at this. It's already like under here. You can see right there the gallium is reacted with the aluminum right here. See that? And right right here there's already like a crack. So I'm going to try to ride the scooter now and we're just going to see if I step on it if it'll break or... Well you need to make it taller. If you're going to do it, do it right. That's as tall as it goes, Sandra. No way! <laughs> These aren't made for big kids. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright, big boy. <laughs> it's probably going to break as soon as I step on it. I believe in you. Be light like a feather. No. Nope. So far, so good. Hasn't broken yet. Oh, wait, let truck. me get the angles. Check it out. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Get moving. It's. I want you to gone. fall. You want me to bunny hop? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, there it is. Scooter's broken. That's all it took was a bunny hop. Good thing you've got sick mad skills and can do a bunny hop. Dude, I bunny hopped so hard I shredded the scooter to death, man. It's like it's made out of like chocolate. I don't know. I don't know any other way to describe Are it. Are you it's, hungry? It's so, it's so Why weird. It's so easy. Like it's not it's cardboard. It's not like chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't tasted it yet. Now there's molten like metal all over the ground. If we ever try to sell this, there's going to be an EPA. Like implying there already wasn't going to be an EPA right. disaster. Yeah. Now they're going to see molten metal on the ground. I think it's mercury. All right. So that was cool. We destroyed a bike. We destroyed a scooter. Let's see what else we can do with this. Now we're going to be trying to put gallium on cans of soda, and I've seen other people do this before, but they always do it when the can of soda is empty. So I'm going to try it with the gallium on the soda can while it's full and pressurized, and seeing if the gallium weakens the soda can, will it explode, or what will happen to it when it's full of soda. First we're going to try it on the top, then we're going to try it on the bottom. We're just going to take a little bit of gallium, just a little bit. I don't think you need very much. Wow. So what I'm doing right now is scratching the surface of the Coke, so when I put the gallium on it, it'll be able to touch the raw aluminum metal, not the aluminum oxide layer that forms on top of the aluminum. Oh, just like that. Did you see that? In literally just a couple of seconds, it has weakened the can of Coke enough 
where I could smash it just like that. All right, now we're going to try it on the bottom of the can of Coke, which is a little bit thicker, but I think it might give a better explosion. So I scratched up the bottom of it. Now we're going to put some gallium on there. And you can see once it touches the aluminum and it starts to react, it like immediately starts to change a different color and oxidize, it gets this film on the surface. And that's how you know that it's starting to react with the aluminum. After about 20 minutes of waiting, we noticed some bubbles coming from the top of the can of soda and then not too much longer, boom, it exploded, kind of. Anyway, more experiments after this message from our sponsors. KiwiCo delivers monthly projects designed to make learning about science, art, and math more fun and accessible. KiwiCo has kits from ages 0 to 16 split up into six different levels that you see here. What I'm trying to say is KiwiCo has kits for everybody. Each kit contains an educational magazine, detailed instructions on how to do it, and all the materials required to do the project. Honestly, I think this is a great idea. When I was a kid, my dad got me kits like this all the time, and I loved them. I don't have any kids now, but if I did, I'd much rather spend $20 on this than V-Bucks. So you can do the monthly one where they send out a box each month, or you can hand select boxes from the store like this chemistry kit. Ooh. Whoa! All right, show your support for my show by taking advantage of this great offer from KiwiCo. Viewers of my channel get their first month subscription box for free. That's a $20 value for free. Head to kiwico.com slash backyard to check it out. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so it's pretty easy to react to gallium and aluminum, but one thing you have to worry about is the gallium freezing when you're trying to react to them. Gallium's freezing point is 86 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's not really a problem here in Florida, but maybe it is in other parts of the world. But I think I have a solution. There's an alloy with gallium called Gallenstan, and it freezes like, like zero degrees Fahrenheit. So I was curious if it can damage aluminum just as well as regular gallium. So I did a test. I put a drop of each on some aluminum and I let it sit overnight. So let's see if there's any difference with how they react with the aluminum. First, let's try the gallium. It's pretty easy to break that. Look at how it, you can just peel the aluminum away. That never gets old. So now let's try the gallon stand. This has, looks like it has some cracks in it. Yeah, so it looks like that. So yeah, it looks like the pure gallium metal is the way to go if you want to dissolve aluminum. This is a pretty cool liquid metal alloy that never really solidifies, but gallium, pure gallium is the way to go. Watch what happens when I put water on the uh, gallon stand alloy. It instantly reacts, that's reacting to form hydrogen gas. And when I was holding it in my fingers, I could feel like the, the hydrogen gas bubbles forming on my fingers. Whoa! Do you see that? Okay, that's pretty cool. So this reaction occurs because the gallon stand alloy prevents the aluminum from forming a protective oxide coating, so the water is free to react with the aluminum. The aluminum steals the oxygen from the water to form aluminum oxide and hydrogen gas, and the gallium can be reused over and over again. Oh! So now we're going to be trying this baseball bat. We put some gallium on here, waited a couple hours, and you can see when you zoom in, it wasn't like this before, so the gallium has moved all the way down here under the side of the bat. So we're going to be trying to hit this lacrosse ball with this baseball bat and seeing what happens. I'm going to aim for the neighbor's window over there, so I think it's going to go that way. I don't think it's actually going to hit the neighbor's window at all. I think it's going to smash, or as soon as I even swing the bat, I think it's going to break. If I hit the neighbor's window, we're going to cut that part out of the video, all right? <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? Oh. Check it out. Holy moly! <laughs> It completely broke that. Oh, what's that? There's like foam on the inside of it. So here's what you could do. You could make everyone think you're a total like badass at the Little League team. What you do is you put a couple drops of gallium on the inside of the bat there through that little hole. When it's your turn to go up the bat, you just hit that. The aluminum bat explodes. You get signed to the majors. You're set for life. There you go. So for this experiment, I was thinking that I could just hold my fist out and I would let Sandra like swing the bat on my fist. We should have done that because I don't think it even would have hurt at all. Okay, okay, here we go. What do you know? You don't know nothing about shots. Ow! <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> your, Wait, hand you your hand or the bat? So for the next experiment, somebody said try a scuba tank with gallium on it. We're gonna try a fire extinguisher. So you can see right there it says full, you see that? But we're gonna put the fire extinguisher in here. So if it explodes, it's not gonna go all over the place. We're just gonna put some gallium right on the fire extinguisher like this. And we're gonna mix it in and then we're gonna run away and wait. 
After about 15 minutes, the gallium leaked into the can enough where we got this small crack that split into the bottom of the cylinder. Do you see this? It's like cracking. Do you see, there's like little bits of metal in here. Whoa! <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> now it's just making a mess. All right, so we just did the fire extinguisher and that was all right. There wasn't a lot of pressure in there, so nothing really crazy happened. We're gonna step it up a notch by using this full tank of CO2 and this is at about 900 PSI. So there's about eight pounds of liquid CO2 in this tank. So we're going to put the gallium down here on the side of it and set the can down like this. So when it goes off this time, something crazy should definitely happen. In case there was a big explosion, I anchored the tank to the ground. So if anything happens, it can't rocket into the neighbor's yard. All right, so everything's rigged up. It's time to try the CO2 cylinder. It's fully charged. So I think that this is a really cool one because I think this is like some spy move. You know, you put some gallium on a scuba tank or something, you run away. This creates a distraction because it blows up and then you can go and do your thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to inject the gallium right into there, right into this little hole in the cap, and then we're going to kind of run away, all right? Safety goggles on. Oh. Should I just leave it up like this? Maybe. I might give more contact if you leave it on its back. Okay, I definitely think it's reacting now. Okay. Whoa. Dude, that was so fast! So, all right, well, here is the CO2 can. You can see Wow, I can't believe how fast that was. Like really, as soon as I scratched it, this thing started to go. And there's just a little bit of CO2 liquid left in there, look. Yep, you can see it splitting out that crack. Check it out. Woo! Here, see how far that goes. All right, you ready? Yeah. Nice. All right guys, that's it for this video. You know, I've seen a lot of videos where people are using gallium, but using it in real life, it's so much crazier than it looks like online. KiwiCo should definitely get a gallium kit because that was so much fun. All right, I guess that's really it this time. So thanks to KiwiCo again for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>